Now let's discuss a nice to have feature that you can add to make this a more dynamic tool. So imagine that your boss wants you to add a new status. So if you want to do that, you would have to go to category and then write down the name of the status. For example, to be repeated. Then you would have to go to to do list. As you might remember, we have defined it in the validation. So we go to data, validation, and here we would have to adjust new area. As you can see, to be repeated is not on the list. So if I, for example, select it now, it's not available. Therefore, in this data validation list, we have to make the area a little bit bigger. So instead of 14, it should be 15. And then I recommend also placing this so it is copied for the rest of the area as well. And in this way, we should have already the new option available. But as you can see, I had to do a lot of things. The other thing which is not good is if I delete, then you will see that we will have empty space here, which doesn't look nice. There is alternative way how you can achieve that and more dynamic. And for that, we will use again tables. First, let's go to category and convert this of statuses into a table. So we select them, we press Ctrl T and we've got the table. Here you will see in the table name that this is called table two. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to select the list without the name of the column and we will name it. We can do it in two ways. One way is to just to go here and just type in the name. So let's name it maybe list of status. We press OK. And now if you go here above and you select this name, he will give you this area. Now we will have to also modify the drop down list. So we're going to go to the sheet to do's. We will select the whole column and then we'll go to data again to data validation. And here, instead of the address written in such a way, we're going to put the name of the table. And we have named it list of status. And we are done. As you can see, if we go to data validation, you will see that we've got the list of status. So the name we have inputted. And we have the list working. On the face of it, nothing has changed, but you will see in a minute that the change is actually big. So, for example, let's assume that we want to add a new status. So we insert one row and then we type in the name of the new status. As you can see, the table has incorporated the new status. This is a part of the table. And if we go to the drop down list, it will also appear on the list. Moreover, we can actually order them. For example, I can order them alphabetically. You go to the filter option and you sort them from A to Z. And this will also impact the list here as well. As you can see now, it's ordered from A to Z as well. Now let's see what will happen if I delete the status. We have to delete not only what's inside, but also the whole row. So we're going to select the whole row and just remove it. And now if we go to the to-do list, you see that this position has totally disappeared and we don't have any empty space as we would have with the previous option.